How to consume messages from a Kafka topic using Golang. Hello, I am Alexander Halikov, IBM Integration Technical Presales. Apache Kafka is open source by its nature, and there are multiple implementations of how you can use Apache Kafka in an enterprise. You can use an open source version, or you can use something from IBM or Google or Confluent or AWS, that's your choice. Today, I'll show you how to do it in IBM Event Streams, which is IBM version of managed Kafka. And you need to be able to connect to Kafka using any programming language, including Golang. At the moment, there are multiple implementations of Go clients, and I will be using Segment.io Kafka Go today. Simpler way to connect to Kafka using Golang is by creating a new Kafka Reader. And let's take a look at what is required to connect to Kafka using Kafka Reader. What you need is a username, a password, name of your topic, and the URL to your bootstrap server. Let's go to our code. So the main.go function will be very simple. We will create a new Kafka Reader then we will print that we are consuming from a topic with the name, and also we will keep printing messages from this Kafka topic, unless we will stop it manually. Let's take a look what is inside that new Kafka reader. Let's just click here. And as you can see, what we need to do here is to create another Kafka config. Also, we need to create a scram mechanism because we will need SSL security certificate. Let's take a look at what is inside of this getconfig config function. As you can see, we need four attributes here. A bootstrap server URL, a name of your topic, username, and password. And you can get these four attributes from IBM event streams. To get these attributes, you need to go to your topics and pick any topic. I will use this door badge in topic, and I will have that connect to this topic button. As you can see, you can generate Scram credentials right from IBM event streams. Just hit this generate Scram credentials button, and the name of our credentials will be Golang client. Let's hit next. And just for simplicity of this demo, I will choose all topics and all consumer groups, and uh, there will be no transactional IDs. Let's generate these credentials. And uh, there it is. So this is your URL to a bootstrap server. Let's just copy it and paste it to this attribute. Let's copy the name of our username that would be Golang client. Password will be this. And the name of our topic will be door badge in. Let's just type it. So that will be door dot badge in. Also, we need to download certificate from IBM event streams. And to do that, just click this download certificate button. That's it, that's all you need to do. Let's go back to our code. So what we have right now, we have credentials, including username and password. We get the name of our topic, and also we have a security certificate that we just downloaded from IBM event streams. That's it, that's all you need to do to connect to Kafka topic. Now, Let's go back to our main function. And as you can see, we got an infinite for loop here. And we will just keep printing messages from this Kafka topic. Let's run our code. And to do that, you need to run it like this. Go run main.go. And as you can see, we started consuming messages from Kafka topic. That's it. And we also can compare them to the exact topic from IBM event streams. I will just terminate this code to stop consuming these messages. This is our topic. And let's just pick any message. 
So yeah, message is exactly the same. Connecting to Kafka with Golang using either IBM event streams or open source Apache Kafka is very, very easy. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thank you very much. I'm Alexander Halikov, IBM Integration Technical Presales. See you in the next video. Bye.